Hey everyone, this is Cindy with Creating with the Heart, and today I've got sort of a 3D project for you guys. Um, it's for kind of a late challenge from the Justice Scrappin um, blog, and I already kind of had this in the works, so I thought I would go ahead and show you guys. I actually saw this from a fellow YouTuber, so this is not my idea in any any way. You're just going to kind of see me doing it. And basically, it's kind of like a little treat container. So I've got a piece of cardstock. This is measured at 11 by 2. And then you score it at 4 and a half and 4 and an eighth. So you kind of create a little, sort of a little groove here to kind of hold your treat. And I've got some... Um, this is Martha Stewart Halloween paper that I'm trying to use up. And you cut two long sheets at six and a quarter by one and seven eighths, and one smaller one at four by one and seven eighths. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate my um, ATG and I'm going to go ahead and attach this. Oops, my tape is super sticky right now. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that. Like I said, super crazy sticky tape right now. I don't know what's up with that. So let me go ahead and I'm going to do one of the long sheets. Make sure not to cover up your score marks because you're going to need that for your, for your fold there. So I'm going to do one of the long sheets on the inside and the other one is going to go here in the back so it doesn't need a ton of tape I forget people are going to rip open these to eat the treat so just worry about getting it to stay down but it doesn't have to stay forever and then one sheet is going to go here on the front so we're going to put that one there and this comes together super easy. I thought I had some I'm looking for my ribbon, but I must have done something with it. So I'll dig out some ribbon when we get to that part. Okay, so once you've kind of got your guy adhered, it looks something like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your punch. This is a one inch circle punch. And you're going to go ahead and go down and pop a hole out of it, like so. And then you're going to fit your treat in it. So you can put whatever you want. I think little Tootsie Pops would be great. I'm going to put through this end. But this is what I happen to have that's kind of long. Or pencils. Like if you didn't want to give candy as a treat, you wanted to give pencils or something, this would be perfect for that. So once you kind of fit that in there, I need to dig up some ribbon because I had a piece of ribbon cut and I don't know what I did with it, which is, you know, I think I'm going to use, uh, I think I'll use black, I guess. I guess I'll use black. I don't, can't find my orange ribbon right now. So I use some black. And basically what you're going to do for this, this is, makes it really, really easy, is you just tie it closed. Just tie it closed. And my tying skills on this, I'm sorry to say, leave a lot to be desired. But you'll, you get the idea. So. That's what it looks like. And then you can go ahead and decorate the front. So what I have for my front is this super cute, I guess it's a bee, dressed up as a little vampire. And so I'm going to put my little bee right here. Let me find what I did with my pop dots. Here they are. So I'm going to pop dot these. And I'll put this on my front. Of course, you can use whatever you know, image you want, or you can stamp something and just punch it out if you want to do something very quickly. I just, I didn't finish, I actually wanted to make four of these, and I 
with this one I've only made three as far as decorated because when I was making these this is when um, the creative critter was not on the gypsy the new one and it was so frustrating cutting it with my E2 I just couldn't do it it was driving me crazy so this just kind of fits right in the front and you have a super cute and really easy treat holder and so some of the other ones that I made I used um, this paper that I had scraps of and I cut the little witch spider and then this one I did the pumpkin so you can see how cute they are and how easy it is to to make these and you can make them as fancy or simple as you'd like so thank you very much for watching today this is 